The National School Boards Association is apologizing for its contentious letter to the Biden administration. In the letter, the school board group compared alleged parent threats to domestic terrorism. Here are the details. After a wave of outcry from parents, local school boards and politicians, the National School Boards Association has apologized for its letter to President Joe Biden. In a memo issued to its members, the board said, on behalf of NSBA, we regret and apologize for the letter. The board went on to say there was no justification for some of the language included in the letter. Here's what they're referring to. In the original letter, the NSBA commented on alleged threats and acts of violence from parents toward public school officials, saying these heinous actions could be the equivalent to a form of domestic terrorism. It's this comparison to domestic terrorism that got the most backlash. Numerous parents saw the letter as an intimidation tactic to stop them from speaking up at school board meetings. School board organizations in at least 20 states distanced themselves from the NSBA, citing disagreement over the way it has characterized parents. Some school boards plan to leave the National Association. In its apology letter, the NSBA said it was sorry for the strain and stress it caused the organizations, and added that it deeply values the voices of parents. Over the last several months, parents have gotten increasingly involved in their local school districts. They're focusing on issues like mask policies, quasi-Marxist critical race theory curriculum, and sex ed.